there's been racist events and white supremacist events going on on this campus for years, but there's no real consequences for that. If you want to take it down, like, literally to, like, the soil that the school is built on, like, slavery happened to here. Why is a student allowed to be in a Confederate flag shirt and have a noose around him? There needs to be a policy that condemns this and there's consequences for it. I think definitely having a zero tolerance policy, the way that people will feel more comfortable and knowing that their reporting through the bias system actually means something. So I, my name's Courtney, I'm a senior here at WIG. Um, I am a filmmaker, video artist, like, um, my major is in English, and I am co-president of Wake Studio, so that's our student filmmaking organization here on campus. So I'm Tariq Shanks. I am a junior uh, politics major and a minor in communication, and yeah, I'm really glad to be here today. I recently made a project called um, "Wish I Wish I Were a Kardashian So I Could Be Black," and it's really looking at like cultural appropriation as well as um, like just the like beauty industry and then also how women black women specifically are participating in that um and as the title states like the kardashians who are really like the big proprietors of that right now um they're a big symbol in the world for really like just ripping off of black people really so um that's what that project is about Watch her video on YouTube. Thanks. It is very good. Um, she has multiple ones. I've watched all of them. I think they're they're very good. Uh, the approach to it, I think, is different, but I think it also hits at the point. It gets your message across, which I think is done effectively. So, good job. Well, thank you. Awesome. Well, guys, thank you for coming. Again, I appreciate it. So, first, I know that Wake Forest was founded as a like solely white, wealthy school, and Many students have expressed recently that that kind of is still how it is today. How do you want to see this move forward in the future? Like, how do you want to see Wake move forward? Now, I know that's a loaded question, but yeah, I anything think, first come to mind? I think it, honestly, I'm going to be honest, just like my personal experience and like, I can't speak for all black people and all black experiences at Wake, obviously. Um, I think that in my experience I think there could be much more of a integrated kind of like community you know what I'm saying like there's like it seems to be like a black community and then the majority white community which you know is essentially like segregation in some ways so I think having either that more integrated or maybe creating more like outlets where black students can feel more like integrated into the university as a whole um, instead of kind of ignoring issues and like really catering to white students here um. is there anything <laughs> that I guess pops into your mind on how the community could add something or how something could be added to this campus to help integrate the students and everybody so it isn't so segregated I think just like the fact that the students are very, like there's certain types of students and like those students are catered to mostly on this campus. Like the programming is catered to what they would want to see on this campus. It's not for all students, of like students of color, black students especially. So like making sure that these offices that they um, have, um, the all the colleges, things like that, are actually working to make sure like the programming that they put on, the initiatives, the faculty members, all that stuff is actually representative of the student body and that students of color don't have to kind of like go to a select few um, professors, go to a select few um, programming that is for them. Um, like having most of the programming for students of color go through like that intercultural center is an issue. Like that should be something that the campus focuses on and they shouldn't have to do all the work for that and also depend on students to help them do all that. So so more offices, I guess, on campus should do a more inclusive events instead of just the intercultural yeah. center. White students don't really come to the events that are for particular cultures unless it's like something that's more mandatory. Mm -hmm. So I think like, 
encouraging that in some way would be a that way students go yeah because i don't understand like we go to the events for other cultures right because it's very like our community is very much more like together and even in that there is a little bit of separation but it's like we would go to those events even though it's for the campus it's not just for us it's for the whole campus mm -hmm. so it's really interesting to see how like apathetic a lot of students are on this campus or uninterested they are in attending anything that doesn't necessarily impact them. That's, that's one way I guess stu student to student like we could help make it a more inclusive campus by like white students just showing up at events that are put on by the black community or the intercultural center puts on for you. On top of that like students, white students on this campus particularly like fraternities or fraternities have um, spaces on the campus, spaces off campus, and those are less regulated, less policed, um, those sorts of things, and it very much encourages their events to like continue to take place. And then at the same time, Wake takes away spaces for um, students of color or black students. Um, students of color have to share spaces that are across multiple cultures. And that's not a really fair thing to make them all do, to have one space where they have to store all their stuff and hold their meetings. And it's never adequate for the number of students that they're bringing to the campus. And um, do you know why is that? Like, why, why do they do that? Like, I guess, what are all the spaces that white students that are not as regulated by Wake, like where are they getting their spaces from and why can't you guys get more spaces oh okay well in terms of like a fraternity sorority like they're paying like they have a lot of donors like their legacies all those things come into that and they're paying for those spaces okay. and they maintain them because of that so next question moving on thank you for answering that one mm -hmm. where do you guys personally stand or where do some of your friends stand with administration and what do they hope happens in the future um, at this point, I think that it's moved beyond Martha Allman and Kevin yeah. Pitter in a way that's like, they are not the exception, they're not like special. In a sense, they are symptoms of what Wake has allowed to continue to um, occur on this campus and in the community. Um, I think students on this campus have a very ahistorical account of how the school like came to be and what it has done over the years. but. Like, there, the administration needs to be very transparent and open about the history of Wake, what has been going on on this campus, which I think it has not done, and black people kind of especially. Like clean house, I feel like, yeah. which would be a lot. Wake likes to try and say, you know, we believe in, like, restorative justice and rehabilitating the person, but it's like, we don't also know what that looks like as students. Like they handle everything which is like send an email before people really get mad <laughs> and then like hope it dies down which i do not i don't think that's ever effective really and they do send emails about literally every single thing that happens mm -hmm. how would what would you like them to do instead of sending an email i think addressing the issue via email is is a good like initial reaction to like inform people of what's happening. But I do think like on the back end there needs to be more transparency about what's actually happening. Like what's happening after you send that email basically. Because like most of the time the email kind of concludes like Wake Forest is about diversity and inclusion for all people. So like no one talk, like no one say anything. Like they're kind of like, mm -hmm. you know, uh, patronizing people trying to say like, okay, like sit down, stop talking, like that kind of thing. Yeah, I also think like not having discussions about it as a campus would be helpful. Um, I think Wake also needs to do better with like how they educate people, like the cultural diversity all the requirement, FYS, all that stuff, because apparently stuff isn't really getting through. Uh, President Hatch is watching. I think finding really any avenue or way you can to be more transparent about and um, recognize the fact that Wake does have a, a rich history of like racism here. I mean, it's like, like I said, like it's on the ground that this school is built on. So continuing to ignore that, not only does it just, it's kind of like, it's 
kind of a slap in the face to all the black students who go here, but I think it also just perpetuates that culture of like, of white supremacy of like, it's fine if like you guys are over here, but we're over here, you know what I mean? Like I, I think it just continues to perpetuate that culture, um, which runs down from the top to like, you know, the students here, so. I also think that the school does need to address like slavery and um, how it's been eugenicist movements, things like that in a very transparent way. And I think a way to do that is through like truth and reconciliation. Um, and that's something that's been done in like South Africa and other places in the US like Georgetown and Brown. And I think that could be a very great space that can continue to heal the campus um, from white supremacy and racist, racism. And yeah, I think white students should just like do educate themselves, but also educate other people around them and let them know like you can be involved in this in different ways and not necessarily be a part of like the anti-racism coalition explicitly. Well, thank you guys. I definitely feel more informed myself and I hope that this video, this interview is able to reach other students on campus regardless of the color of our skin, regardless of our beliefs. I hope people watch this and are able to move forward in a more positive direction so this campus is a place for all students regardless of where you come from or what you look like or anything really just to be able to get along and make a positive change in society so thank you for taking the time to talk with me today i really appreciate it